So I went on with my shawl with, and uh, I just wanted to be sure that you understood all uh, and it's all clear and uh, that's why I want to synthesize a little bit the idea, the pattern. So as I said in the tutorial we have to pay attention we don't have to count we just have to pay attention on the um, when we open a pineapple motif on the borders the left side border and the right side border and this happens <laughs> when we are with the border motif so the border motif that we work on it we are at the we just finished the second um, row with the arches so you know that I divided just to be easier to understand the motif I just divided the pineapple motif in two parts the part with the double crochets and we have three rows of this part the first row is the three double crochets row then we add two more at the beginning and two more at the end so the row with seven double crochets then the last row of double crochets so the third one is the row with 11 double crochets and then we begin with the second part of the motif so the part with the arches little arches or loops or uh, chain three space or how do you want to name them it's okay it's just important to um, make this difference in between the first part and the second part and why because it's easier when we are working the project and we have to see the project just on this part on the border on the motif of the borders because we have two borders of course the left side the right side I am here of the on the left side of my border no we have these two motifs I have here my borders and <laughs> these two motifs so you are working here is where I I began a new motif on the border and where uh, as I explain it to you in the tutorial we begin always begin a new motif on the border by working into the second shell of the border the a complete shell and the uh, adding a complete shell and a chain two space plus two more double crochets so actually we have two spaces two chain two spaces and then we actually make place for another uh, pineapple motif so and when we have to work this when we are ready to work our third into our third row of the second part of the pineapple motif so the third row of arches so into the first row of arches we have one two three four five arches into the second row we have one two three four arches and into the third row we have three arches okay so is this the row when where in where we have to open a new pineapple motif how by adding at the second shell a chain two and two more double crochets into the same chain two space now 
I am actually at this point and I do it on purpose <laughs> of course just to show you so just the border is important the border okay you just have to pay attention when you are into the border motif pineapple motif when you are into your third you you are about to begin your third uh, row of the motif and this is my third row of the your third row sorry of the arches okay because we have one two three three rows of double crochets and one two three four five rows of arches yes of course there are five because we begin began with uh, five arches and we go on by um, working less one into each row okay so now let us begin this row so three chains turning chains then the first the first shell it's a normal shell as we work the shell in this pattern so two double crochets chain two two double crochets then the chain four it's a constant and now into the second shell we will open a another pinwheel motif how by working a completed shell so two double crochets chain two two double crochets plus or adding a chain two and another two double crochets oops two double crochets okay so here i made space for another pinwheel motif but i'm not at the point that i can begin my pinwheel motif i just make the space and i have to work another row to create the space for the pinwheel motif so from this row we have to work one more row and then into the next row we will begin the pinwheel motif with 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 our first row of the pinwheel motif so with the row with three double crochets so this okay now I created this and now I go on working my pattern so chain four for the arches part and let's work our three arches we know that we are into the row with three arches one two and three into the last arch single crochet three arches okay let's continue on with four chains we know that on the part with arches we always chain four at the beginning at at the end of the row and on the part with double crochets we always chain two at the beginning and at the end of the row i am i am speaking here only about the motive the pinwheel motive okay chain four and here we are with our shell so let's work our shell and in between the pinwheel motifs open pinwheel pinwheel motifs we have this part with the chains do you understand uh, do you remember of course this part with the chain so when we close a pinwheel motif and this is the last part when we chain five um, single crochet I will single crochet into the last lonely here chain three space or arch or loop single crochet and another chain five and then we continue on and then 
into for the next one, two, three, four, five rows, we just only chain in between the motifs that we are working at. So the open motifs. So first we chain six in between the motifs to skip from a motif to another. Then we chain four, four, three times. One, two, three, or three rows. And then again six. And this is the moment, so the row first of uh, the row when we open another motif. And now I will connect this notion with this one. So let me just finish my um, row. So I am here in between the motifs and I am chaining four. Three, four. Now I am skipping into the next chain, uh, into the next shell, sorry. <coughs> working my shell and then another pinwheel motif. The same thing. Chain four. Then work your three arches. One, two, three. Chain three arches, chain three spaces of the third row of the second part of the motif, pinwheel motif. Okay, then chain four and the shell. So as you can see, we are just repeating the same thing all over the, the rows, nothing else. Of course, we have, as we go on with the pattern, we have more and more uh, pineapple stitches. And this is normal because it's a tri triangular um, pattern, a triangular uh, work. So, of course, we open the work as we go on. Okay, so let me finish this row and I will show you the next row. I am finishing here the row and I just want to be sure that uh, you remember to open, make space for another motif at this border too as we did here at the beginning of the row, of course. So don't forget, it happens to me. Sometimes it, it has happened, so really, it happens to me. And that's why I want to be sure um, that I say to you this, this little <laughs> problem, because when you are working a, a huge, a, a long row, as I am here, with uh, actually one, two, three, four, five, six, with seven motifs, okay? So you begin and then as you go repeating all motifs because it's all, as you can see, it's repeating the motifs. So you don't have to uh, be, be afraid of, oh my gosh, how many motifs I have. It's all about repeating the pattern, the same pattern that I explain it to you row by row until the uh, row number 21. So it's the same thing, only that you um, are going, you are opening as you go, opening more and more motifs. And this is normal because we need to go on with our triangle. Okay? So don't forget to make the same thing. So I will chain four to finish the row of the last motif, pinwheel motif, and now into the shell here, I have to work my, my shell, normal shell, plus chain two, plus two more double crochets. Okay, so two more double crochets, one and two. And now chain four and the last shell. And the last shell remain the same unchanged. <laughs> it's 
the same shell. Oops. Okay. Now, so this is the row with three uh, arches and this is the row when we open, we create the space on the left side and right side border for another motif. Okay. And in the middle is the row, the last row with the chain four. Because you know, in between the motifs, as you can see, we, uh, we close the motif with chain 5 single crochet into the last arch and chain 5 and then we begin as I said before we begin with our chain 6 in between the spa the motifs then chain 4 chain 4 chain 4 for 3 rows and then into the next row is the chain 6 again so actually in between the motifs you have 1 2 3 Four and with the uh, the last chain six, five chain uh, five rows with chains. The first is with chain six. The next three are with chain four, and the last is with ch is with chain six again. So we begin and we finish this part uh, of the part of the pattern with chain six, and it's important why because is this row yes is this row when we uh, are working in between all our motifs the chain 6 is the row when we begin not this but the next row this one that I will begin here so chain 3 work your first shell one Two, chain two, and two more double crochets for the first shell, then chain four, okay, chain four, and here when we have our two chain two spaces, we are working into the first chain two space, one shell, completed shell, so two double crochets, chain two, two double crochets one, two then the chain three and a chain three in between them and now let us complete our second shell here into the, into the second chain two space of course and this is the row before the row we have to begin new motifs to begin to open to new motifs, new pineapple motifs. And here we create the chain 3 space for the first row of the motif. And which is the first row of the motif is the three double crochets row. So this row, oops, this row is the first. So we create the space, okay, for the first row. And then again we will repeat all and all. So this is the moment, these two rows are very important not to forget. So that's why I am repeating this, um, these two rows because our the um, the basic of the pattern so in order to go on with the pattern and uh, to not to have problems and okay so now I worked my chain 3 here and in this now I am chaining 4 and I am working my open motifs pineapple motifs so the the one two three the fourth row of arches with two arches actually is the fourth because the last the fifth is one arch okay now chain four again you know chain four then the shell and here we are in between the motifs 
and I said we have to and and here we are in between the motives where we have our chainings here and when we are in this row where we work chain three so this two um, shell stitches with a chain three in between them we work the chain six in between all the motives okay so chain six one two, three four five and six all the motives and then skip into the next shell and work your next pineapple motif repeating the same thing all over the row until you are at the end of the row and you have to work this two shells into the into your two chain two spaces and in between a chain three so all over in between the pineapple motifs work a chain six and this is the row before the row you will begin the pineapple motifs so the first row of the pineapple motifs motif is the three double crochets so here into the next row you will work chain two three double crochets chain two and you will go on until here and you will work onto the into the chain six space chain two three double crochets chain two and so on okay so let me finish all along all uh, the um, row and I will show you the next row when you will begin with the new motifs and this is it so hope now it will be all clear of course you have to pay attention a little bit at um, all my explanations here because um, yes it's not difficult when you understand it <laughs> but before it might be a little bit confusing now we are here and instead of chain 4 we are working chain 6 okay so it might be a little bit confusing so that's why I ask you just to uh, watch the video watch the tutorials all four parts because they are four parts and then to uh, begin your shawl if of course this if you want to make the shawl okay so now I am going on and working with the chain six in between the motifs so let me finish the row and I will show you the next row so this is the row that or in which we begin another set of motifs of pineapple motifs because we have to actually you can see this pineapple motifs we just have one or two one just one yes two rows and we we uh, close them so this is the row when we have the chain three in between our two shells and the chain six in between all the rest of our pinwheel motifs when yes all the rest of our pinwheel motifs and the chain three at the end and at the beginning of the row actually it's the third row after the row when we open the um, we open on the one border and another so on on two sides of the 
triangular shawl we open our uh, pinwheel so we create the post so we work this uh, chain with this shell plus chain two and double crochet into the third row of arches so from here we need to work another uh, one actually another one and into the next we begin with our first row of the pineapple motif so the double cro the three double crochets here and then all over into the chain six and this is the same thing when we are with three pineapple motifs or four pineapple motifs or six or seven or how many pineapple motifs we have because as I said it's a triangular shape so we open it so of course we have to add more pineapple wheels and this is the way we are adding them okay then so that's why I, I wanted to to, uh, to make this uh, last part of the tutorial with the shawl just to, to point this so this um, is the most important part you have to pay attention of this part when you are on the um, border with the pineapple uh, border on into the third row then it's really easy so now we are ready to begin all over the shawl our pineapple motifs into the third row from here okay so one two this is the third okay we begin of course with our shell here we are with our shell then chain four and here we work our shell as we normally work two shells here And now we will begin with our first row of pineapple here. So chain two and into the chain three space, three double crochets and chain two and now the next shell. Okay, and this is it. One, two and two more double crochets and now here we have to close our open our, our uh, motifs so we have to chain four and to work one arch the last arch so single crochet into the first chain three space chain three for the last arch and single crochet into the second arch the last row and chain four okay now the shell and we have to open another motif after we complete the shell of course here we are into the chain six space in between the motifs and chain two the same thing that we did here chain two three double crochets around the chain six space and chain two and then the shell so can you see it's the same thing we are opening more pineapple wheels motives okay and I will go on like this, repeating the sequence. Here we are. Okay, now I, I really, really hope that it's all clear and all of you who want to make this shawl can make this shawl by, by herself. And 
Just one thing I want to say to you the, about the tassels. So I said that the tassel we put we will put the tassels into the chain three, turning chain three spaces here. So there are two methods of making the tassels, and one is this. You cut a a uh, piece of yarn long enough to create the, the in, in two. So folded in two creates the the length of your tassel. Of course you is you to decide the length. Okay? And you cut it. Then this is this will be your um uh, your um, how can I say your length um, sample yes your length sample for all your tassels and then you just I have here my yarn for the tassels I have here the length the sample so Put like this and then one more and depends on how rich you want to have your tassels so I have I fold one and then two and maybe it's okay so I will cut the yarn and I want to found to find my sample which is this I hope yes no it's not it's okay where is my sample okay I found it. <laughs> Maybe it's not always okay. This is my sample. I just be sure first. So this is my sample. I will fold it like this because we always have to take the sample. We will okay now. Hope it's okay. Hope I. Okay. You know what? You can just cut here and cut here and then take one piece. And this is the sample. Okay. I don't know why sometimes I like to complicate, <laughs> just to complicate the things. Then fold it like this and with a crochet hook into one chain three space, pull it and yarn over all the, the tassel over and pull through the loop you have here. And here it is. Now another way. This is the easy. This is this is the difficult, the more difficult way. <laughs> I begin with it, and this is the easier way. You need just a, a piece of cardboard or a something like this that they have here. I don't know what it is, but it's okay. <laughs> it's okay, and with the length that you need for your tassel, okay, and you don't need. Any, you, you don't need any more a sample. You just put this here and go on one, two, three, and four. I just want to go four times, okay? Maybe, sorry, I just forget to say to you that. It's better to put it at one side, one border, because we have to one, 
Okay, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, okay. So, one, two, three, and the set four. Okay, now I just have to cut the yarn and to take off from here. Okay, oops, like this. Now just cut it. And you have your tassel. You cut just at one side because here it is your tassel. And now the same thing here into the next chain three, oops, chain three space, pull through it, and now yarn over all the tassel and pull to the loop that you have here and here it is okay so that's it with the tassels now I hope it's all clear of course if you have questions just ask and I will help I will try to help you bye bye